Okay, this is a demonstration of a RICOM Instruments 6040 selective level meter. Uh, this is essentially a low frequency uh, EMI receiver for testing um, baseband microwave transmitters. Uh, this makes a good VLF receiver uh, for picking up uh, frequencies between uh, uh, 300, 300 hertz up to three and a half megahertz. So it's got a wide band. Um, this is a field portable instrument. It has a battery in it, a 12 volt battery. <coughs> you can see it. Uh, I put a new lead acid battery in here. This is a 12 volts, replacing the the one that came in it, which is. Um, which looks like this. This is a uh, Cyclon 6 volt 5 amp hour battery. Uh, there's two of them in, in uh, series here making 12 volts. This one's uh, no good anymore so we replaced it with a uh, a single 12 volt battery. It seems to be working out pretty good. Had to modify it in here uh, but it's uh, it's holding pretty well. So I'm going to put this back together. Here's the, the case. Make sure that it's off. Takes four screws to get this back in place. I got a, a little makeshift antenna here with a with a uh, banana plug to coax to a <clears throat> little wire antenna that I made here. So I'm going to test it on battery, see if this is working. It seems to be working pretty good. And check the battery on it, and it looks okay. You probably could use a little bit of ch charge on it. I did plug this in earlier and the charge is working okay. So I got it tuned here to um, about 24 kilohertz. This happens to be the Cutler main Navy transmitter for uh, transmitting to uh, submarines out in the Atlantic. I'm going to test the attenuator here. There's a range here <clears throat> for selecting. Uh, you can see this yellow light blinking. This is telling me that the uh, the attenuation is too high. I'm going to bring this down until that yellow light goes away. Right there. So we got a yeah. I believe this is the uh, the Navy transmitter in Cutler, Maine. Interesting. 
up to the AM broadcast range, which falls within this uh, instrument's range. I go to a known station here. You see, WBZ is 10:30. WBZ in Boston. There we go. Now the red light here is telling me I need more attenuation. We can adjust that. It's nighttime, so the uh, WBZ is gonna be a little scratchy, like all AM stations at night that are local. So this is working pretty good um, on battery. You can also run this off of AC. See what else we can find here. Amateur radio is up in here. Well, there's a uh, there's some Morse code here. have this on the uh, lower sideband so we could uh, hear that tone from the from the teletype this upper sideband gives you a different tone go back to AM idea what that is. Probably uh, looks like sounds like harmonics of something here. Probably something running in the house, I'm not sure. These compact fluorescents operate that uh, That was the water pump, actually.
got somebody here. I don't know who it is. Right around 19, 1.9 megahertz. Okay, so we can put this on charge and charge up our 12 volt battery. I just earlier I checked the um, the charging output on this. It looks pretty good, so it's charging that battery. And uh, this is a pretty nice instrument. <laughs> 